On behalf of the entire port team, welcome to the 2019 Pulse of the Ports. To discuss the outlook for 2019, a panel of experts gathered for the Port of Long Beach's 15th annual Pulse of the Ports peak season forecast. In 2018, our labor partners and terminal operators moved 8.1 million TEUs across the docks. We want to move containers faster. We want to move containers in a more efficient manner, an environmental friendly manner. Will the Port of Long Beach handle more cargo in 2019 than in 2018? And more importantly, what are the challenges and opportunities facing all the players in the supply chain? I'm here to give you a real quick overview about where we see the economy over the next year. Melissa Peralta, Senior Economist and Forecaster for TTX, projected modest growth in 2019. We foresee container import growth at only 1.8% in 2019. I think it's already so remarkable what the Port of Long Beach has managed to do with the wave of freight that came in in December. And the fact that they're dealing with it as well as they are is remarkable. Throughout the morning, experts from the various sectors of the supply chain presented their findings and outlined potential solutions to the key issue facing the industry increased efficiency. The Port of Long Beach is doing some great things to improve efficiency and also being able to continue to support the growing volumes through here. Um, everybody's in it together, so that means BCOs, terminals, steamship lines, truckers, all have to address the issues, which is congestion, equipment, those are the real hot topics for everyone. This year in attendance was also a large group of students from the Academy of Global Logistics at Cabrillo High School. But these kids are poised, they, they present themselves really well, and I just love the idea that, that they're recognizing Logistics can be a career path, and they're, they're getting exposed to thought leaders, they're networking, they're learning in, in tours. I just think it's a tremendous program that the port has put together. After the presentations were concluded, the speakers answered questions from the audience to further clarify issues and potential solutions. To see the webcast of Pulse of the Ports, go to polb.com slash pulseports.